Hello everyone. The Freight Management app helps business to streamline their freight operations and enhance their efficiency. It enables business to manage their transportation process of land, ocean and air from the single platform. This app allows users to create and freight requests from the website and user can manage and convert the booking requests into a shipments. All detailed transactions will be added to the shipments and also can add an orders, packages, services, custom details and create customer invoices as well as the vendor bill for the added services. User can also track the shipment by booking ID or a shipment number from the website page. Now let's get into the freight management and see how we can do that. So at first we need to complete some configuration part so we need to get into the configuration. At first let's see how we can create a port. So from here user can create and configure the ports right away here for the freight management. So for creating a port we need a code name, country, federal, state, air, ocean and land. If that port created port is in the air type you need to enable air. If it is in uh, ocean you need to enable ocean. If it is a land we need to enable the land. Okay. Like the same way we need to create an vessel. So for uh, creating an vessel we need a code name, country, global zone. Right. Like the same way, we can create an airlines. Like the same way, we can create any input terms as well. Okay, and the other more thing that we have is in packages. So from here, we can create an n number of packages with the code name. Whether the package created package is a container, we need to enable container. Whether it is the type of refrigerate, we need to enable the refrigerate. And also from here, we need to give the size as well as the volume for each and every packages. Okay, and then the mode type. So from here we can create a move type. Uh, it will be created as an uh, air fright, sea fright. It may be uh, your wish. So it, this move type will be used in each and every shipment that we have created. Okay. Now let's get into an uh, master data and see how we can create and freight product services. So from here we can see the services. So these are the services that we have created as a sample. So we can create and services right away here by using the new option which is available here. Okay. Like the same way we can create and customers as well as the vendor for the freight under which is comes under a master data menu. Okay. Now let's get into the website and see how we can create and freight booking request from the website. Now let me get into the website. So this is the website page. Okay, so from here we can see a bookings. So these are the bookings that we have already created. To create a new booking, you can just click on the create new booking option which is available here. And from here we can choose an operations, directions, transport. Okay, and also the other more information needs to be filled it out. So from here I'm going to choose an, uh, yes, this one, airlines. Okay. And these are the some of the data that we need to be added. And also you can see if it is a dangerous goods, you can mark the, the particular goods as a dangerous goods. And also here we can see an attached to file. So from here we can add an attachment right away here. Okay. And now let's book now. So once everything is done, user can see a thank you message with the generated booking number. Here it is. So let me see the same which was created in the back end. So let me get into the back end and from here you can see the order number is 10. Okay. Let me get into the back end now. Let me refresh this page. So under booking tab, we can see all the bookings that we have created. These are the created one and these are the converted one. Okay. So from here, this is the one which we have created. So so these are the data that we have given. Uh, it will be automatically fetched right away here. That is user can see the created freight booking and can view and download the attachment which we have attached from the website. So once this is done, we can see and convert shipping option. Like a user can convert the freight booking into the shipment by clicking on the convert shipment button. And also you can see the stages that will be changed to convert automatically. Okay, and also user can see the shipment uh, access a uh, created shipment for uh, booking from the smart button. We can uh, get into the shipment directly and user can see the created shipment for the booking with all the details entered into the freight booking and also can change the shipment stages accordingly.
okay user can add the shipment order by selecting and packages right away here so we can, from here we can see add a line these are the orders that is shipment orders okay uh, so user can add and shipping order by selecting and packages like uh, if I have an, uh, using the parcel, we can use a parcel right away here. Okay, let me copy this one and make the same as a description now. Okay, and from here we need to give the quantity of the parcel and also from the operation we can use then uh, which type of operation it will be. And also from here we need to give the volume like uh, 500 or else if it is unit. And also you can use an, a gross weight as well. Okay, so once this is done, let me save this one. Now we can add and uh, shipping packages for that we need to get into here. User can add a shipping packages by clicking on a generate from order button and based on the added order package will be added automatically. Now let's get into it. Now you can see it will be automatically fetched based on the order that we have already created. Now let's create or add a shipping routes. So user can add a route by selecting a route type. Okay. So from here you can see by selecting the route type we can add the routes and also we can add the transport right away here and the other details and user can also add a packages as well as the services for the shipment as shown in the below so from here you can see right and then we can see the services so added services to the route will automatically link here that uh, if you have added the routes in the routes if we have added the services it will be automatically affected in the services or else you can directly create and services right away here so let's create a new service okay delivery charge i'm going to create a delivery charge so let me copy the delivery charge and then make the same in the description too and from here we need to give how many quantities for delivery i i have used two persons so i have i need in uh, two quantities and for cost i it is a thousand five hundred and it is for sales i need to use it is an uh, two thousand five hundred okay so now let me save this one so from here you can see the service will be created now we can see a shipment custom details user can add a shipment custom details like declaration number declaration date and custom clearance date for the shipments okay if needed we can add those things right away here right so like the same way we can add the tracking as well like shipment tracking details user can also add a shipment tracking details like um, shipment the location shipment description and also the shipment date okay so from there we can add the location description as well as the date so once these things will be completed user can see an added services will be right away here once we have saved this one so we have created the service user can see the services same in the smart button as well and let me get into the service so from here let me choose this option that is user can create and customer invoices for end shipment by selecting a service and then we need to click on that action menu from there we can see and create a customer invoice option is available so let me get into that so user can create an invoice for an agent consignee and a shipper okay if i have selected an agent we need to select the agent for whom we need to create an customer invoice so for example let me choose one of the agent and we can create an invoice right away there so user can see a created invoice for the shipment details with the services that we have attached there so from here they can make the payment like the same way okay like the same way let me get into the order let me get into the shipment and the same thing so from here we can create an vendor bill as well so from here, if I go into uh, give an uh, vendor bill for the agent, we can select agent right away here. So from here, we can create an invoice like with, which creates a vendor bill like this. Okay. And also we can see an accounting part. So from here, we can see how many um, expected bills are created and actual payments are created. Like user can see a shipment accounting details like expected bills, okay actual payments and also the amount due for created invoices and as well as the vendor bills and we have the other more options like in the website page we can see a track shipment option so for example let me copy this um order order number 
okay we need to paste this one from here and user can see a shipment details or the tracking details right away here in the website form so in this way we can make use of this module to help a businesses to streamline their freight transportation process of land ocean and air from the single platform thank you for watching